Broadcom Foundation is thrilled to sponsor the second annual EMEA workshop that's being hosted this year in Imperial College, London. <laughs> it's been such an honor to host this 2018 workshop in Brain Inspired Computing and Technologies, sponsored by the Broadcom Foundation. I'm really excited to welcome here to Imperial College London all the students from different universities to have them work together on some of the unsolved grand challenges in brain-related disorders and technology looking at the end of Moore's Law. This workshop is focused on engineering the brain. And we've brought together young people, scientists, engineers, innovators from four universities to figure out ways that they can emulate the working of the brain to actually solve the problems of the brain through engineering, science, and innovation. I think it's a fantastic opportunity because it brings people from starting with different backgrounds, different cultures, but at the same time from different fields. So they give you a completely different and really inspiring perspective. Trying to solve the problem in one discipline will be obvious. Uh, it, it is a, a low-hanging fruit. So we wanted to have something which uh, basically spans different disciplines and it's very difficult at its core. So we came up with this idea about the brain, uh, because you can talk about the brain, you can work on this for decades. And obviously it's working, it's, a, it's, it's the only way to solve the problem, because when you look at the current problems in the world, like global uh, warming, one group of scientists cannot solve it. You get a collaboration from, from different disciplines. So we involve different cultures, different languages, different continents, uh, and we also need to bring different disciplines to work together to solve these very important problems. We are extremely excited to be here at Imperial College. We had the opportunity a couple of years ago to visit and we were so impressed with professors like Pantelis Georgiou and we decided to do a project on brain emulation because we have a terribly important passion to learn from the brain as engineers to apply it to solving society problems from the point of view of integrated circuit design, information processing, and so on. I think the diversity of cultures, uh, backgrounds, and uh, education uh, sparks uh, so many new ideas. Uh, it's kind of amazing for me, I guess, <laughs> to hang out with uh, people from different walks of life, men and women in the group. So it was a kind of great opportunity for me and I learned lots of things from them. In my group we are working on uh, phantom limb syndrome and we are actually trying to solve the problem and to be able to give patients that experience severe pain the ability to live normal life. The meeting with engineers, with mathematicians, with people from different disciplines, together with neuroscientists, I think from my perspective is the way to, to bring to the next breakthrough. So for them, having sitting with electrical engineers, thinking about the solution for a, a phantom or for a brain traumatic injury, I think this is, gives them quite a lot and also for their field. And hopefully one of the groups here will continue to you know, build their own company, maybe in a couple of years we'll hear about them. We are extremely excited that EMEA workshop is going to be held in India the next time. Uh, we look at the experiences our students have had over the past two workshops and I think we can uh, give it an Indian flavor. India is famous for its uh, jugad, I mean very frugal invention. So hopefully we will bring out aspects of that uh, in inventing devices which are affordable for the masses. It's thrilling to see young people come together and in a very short period of time bond around a common theme of curing disease. The intensity of this experience allows them to bond as problem solvers and achieve goals that they never thought possible in a very short period of time. We're sending these young people home with a skill set that will enable them to be the future leaders in their fields and to draw upon the talents and insights of others in a new way. Oh, <laughs>